Ryan, when we look at it, I mean, clearly a lot of people are going to be looking at the earnings here. But does that uh, alarm you when we think about the way that tech has overall carried the market and, and how much pressure that puts on them to continue leading the way higher? Yeah, I do. I think it's really deceiving uh, because right now, obviously, those stocks have held up well, which is making the S&P hold up a lot better uh, than the overall market is. If you look at the median stock in the S&P, it's down more like 25 percent. Right. So there's a big divergence right now between those big tech companies, which I believe even when you look at the tech bubble before it burst, there wasn't that big a concentration in just a couple of stocks. And of course, they're getting bitted up. I mean, valuations now in those stocks are not cheap. Amazon trades at like 83 times forward earnings. So I have to wonder at some point, you know, the quote unquote safety trade might be more risky than people actually you know, perceive it right now. So when you look at putting money to work here, are you still looking at some of these tech names that have been able to kind of navigate this new normal? Or are you looking more towards safe havens that that might be a little bit safer here when we look at consumer staples? Well, I think you have it in your portfolio, but I think you got to be careful with the obvious trade right now, right? Once the market went down in March, everyone got defensive. Consumer staples have been holding up a lot better. Um, we just talked about tech. It's holding up a lot better right now. And any of the obvious names, it's a very safe thing to say on TV with a lot of these strategists. But the reality of it is when you come out of a bear market, you know, things like cyclicals actually do better because they get hammered and then they have the, you know, the biggest runway to actually rebound. So if you look at financials right now, specifically, um, they, they look very good. They're very cheap. Uh, they have a lot of room to move upwards. You know, I'm a bold man, Zach. I even think energy stocks here, you know, they've actually come wow. off their bottom from March. I know, I know. And even with oil prices down right now, what the market's telling you, because the market's a discounting mechanism for the future, all of those stocks actually, you know, are already starting to rebound. It says oil prices are probably going higher in the future. So I think that bodes well for oil as well. 